countrymen and lovers. Be patient to the last. Hear me for my cause and be silent that you may hear. Believe me for my honor and have respect for my honor that you may believe. Censure me in your wisdom and awaken your senses that you may be the better judge. If there be any in this assembly, any dear friend of Caesar's, to him I say that Brutus' love to Caesar was no less than his. And then that friend of mine, my Brutus, rose against Caesar. This is my answer. Not that I love Caesar less, but that I love Rome more. Had you rather Caesar were living and die all slave, than that if Caesar were dead, to live all free men. <coughs> As Caesar loved me, I weep with him. As he was fortunate, I, re I rejoice at him. As he was valiant, I honor him. But, as he was ambitious, I slew him. There was tears for his love, joy for his fortune, honor for his valor, but death for his ambition. Who here so hates you would be honored? If any speak, who am I defended? Who here so rude that would not be a Roman? If any speak, who am I defended? Who here is so vile that would not love his own country? If any speak, who am I defended? I pause for a reply. Then none have I offended. I have done more more to Caesar than you shall do to Brutus. The question of his death is only capital. His glory not essentially it, whether he was worthy, nor his offenses and faults for which he has suffered death. Here comes Mark Anthony, mourning Caesar's loss. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come here to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often turned with their bones, so let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus hath told you that Caesar was ambitious. If it were so, it were a grievous fault. And grievously hath Caesar answered it. Here, under leave of Brutus and the rest, for he is an honorable man, as are they all, all honorable men. Come I to speak at his funeral. He was my friend, faithful and just to me. But Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. He had brought many captives home to Rome, whose ransoms did the general cop. When did the poor hath cried, Caesar hath wept. Ambition should be made of sterner stuff. And yet Brutus says he was ambitious. And Brutus is an honorable man. You all did see that at the Lubricow, I right presented him a kingly crown, which he then thrice refused. Was this ambition? Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and sure, he is an honorable man. I come not to disprove what Brutus hath spoke, but come I to say what I do know. You all did love him once, not without cause. What cause withholds you then to mourn for him? O oh, judgment thou art fled to Brutus beasts, and men have lost their reason! Forgive me, my heart is in the coffin there with Caesar, and I must pause till it come back to me. 